John and Ken Show, John Cobell and Ken Shampoo, KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. Well, LA Weekly has just posted a story online. It's actually dated tomorrow. I think the newspaper comes out on Thursdays. By Patrick Range McDonald. What a job. This is what the LA Times should do, and they never have. Antonio Viragos' quest for Wall Street, Washington, and wealth, although the title belies what's really in it. Basically, he's trying to figure out what to do next, and to keep up with this uh, really lavish lifestyle he's had while being mayor for eight years, he's going to need money. It's kind of the bottom line here. Yeah, and, and he's so desperate that he went to an Oscar party, the Vanity Fair Oscar party, and found Bill O'Reilly from Fox News there. And he went to O'Reilly to to try to get a job at Fox News. He had fervently hoped, friends and colleagues say, to land an Obama cabinet post as Secretary of Transportation. But after hamming it up with Charlie Sheen and Cabo San Lucas in January, he was seen in Washington, D.C. as having too much baggage. We'll have more on that later. In earlier February... Viragosa announced late on a Friday afternoon that he was flattered but not interested in the cabinet position. He was never offered it. He wanted it desperately, but the Charlie Sheen incident sunk his chances. We told you that. That's the truth. And, And of course, now he won't own up to it. Now, so in late February, he catches up to O'Reilly. And Viragosa loudly asked O'Reilly for help in landing an on-camera job. Firagosa said he wants to speak to Roger Ailes, who runs Fox News, about, quote, going to work at the network. But they couldn't hear what O'Reilly said in response. It says O'Reilly appeared genial, but his response could not be heard. When Viragosa's mayoral run ends June 30th due to term limits, he could use not just a job, but one that affords him the multimillionaire lifestyle to which he's become accustomed as a flamboyant public servant. His concerned allies have even determined how much Viragosa should earn. Are you ready for this? About $750,000 a year to replicate the life of luxury hotels, nomadic air travel, taxpayer-supplied Getty House mayoral mansion, $1,000 seats at sporting and entertainment events, an SUV with LAPD security detail attached, and innumerable evenings over fine food and wine paid for by wealthy friends and supporters. How could you? How could anybody sit and have a meal with him? He's so empty. He's so... He's charming. He's No, he's vain. He's vapid. He's boring. It's double Vs. Yeah. Uh, so so he need, so they figured out he needs three quarters of a million dollars a year. He's the highest paid mayor in the country at two hundred and thirty two thousand, but they say he's broke and he has next to nothing lined up. In five weeks he's gone, and um, he has no savings at all. In fact, uh, they've looked at his uh, his economic statements that you have to file every year, and aside from a few thousand dollars he gets from a, a home he rents out. He has no revenue streams, no financial investments, no stocks, no bonds. It says the weekly could not determine how much public employee pension Villaraigosa will collect or when. Through a spokeswoman, ahead of the L.A. County City Employees Retirement System, they so far have no records regarding this public information. But Villaraigosa has been paid $1.7 million as mayor, a serious chunk of which for the past several years has gone to his ex-wife and children for alimony and child support. He has risen to the 1% in practice, if not fact, by relying heavily on other people's money. Taxpayers, private groups, foundations have footed big travel bills. As Vera goes and we just spent time on this, spent nearly 42% of his official city working hours out of town between September 1st and December 16th of last year. His personal schedule also reflects on the eve of his departure a one-time man of the people who regularly sits down with the billionaires like Eli Brode and Forever 21 founder yeah. Don Juan Chang, but rarely with activists or ordinary no, people he, who know firsthand what's happening in L.A.'s communities. He doesn't care about the poor people. He doesn't care about the immigrants. He's the little kid who used to shine shoes, according to his childhood story, of the wealthy. And he's always been a little kid with his nose pressed up to the glass, wanting to be with the, wanting to be with the wealthy, to eat with them, to drink with them, to travel with them, to be on an equal footing with them. But his only talent was this superficial charm that fooled enough people so that he could become mayor for eight years. Fantastic. And, and do nothing but watch the city crumble. But in a- actual talent, seriously, what would you hire him for? What could he possibly be good at? 
All right, there's more detail in this story about his travels, about all the free tickets and events he goes to. And, you know, and again, he is going to get some sort of public employee pension. I mean, he was on the city council. He was in the legislature in Sacramento. He but was I, mayor. That'll be low six figures, though. It, it probably cannot sustain this lifestyle. I think that's the point of this. So we'll get to it. John and Ken Show. John Cobell and Ken Shampoo.